Well, oh, Alex okay, dog. welcome. Welcome to Movie the Podcast. Welcome. Welcome to Movie the Podcast. That's right, Movie the Co- Podcast. Uh, movie, movie the, the podcast. podcast. The Movie podcast. the Podcast. It's uh, we're a uh, wholly owned subsidiary of Club Shay Shay. That's right. We're here. We're drinking the cognac. Um, no, no, we're not. I hate We are you, not. You know what else is part of that is uh, the Jeff Team Podcast, which is also very funny. Are you oh, yeah, are you a, a cognac enjoyer? No, cognac's cognac. the worst. It's the it's absolute disgusting. worst. Yeah, People who like right. cognac are lying to themselves. Um, we watched. We're all format, uh, and we watched. Well, we are, we are. We are. We are. We are off format. Micro like, off format, yeah. but macro completely on yeah. format. There's two yeah. people where if they put a fucking movie out, we have to watch it, and it's yeah. Zack Snyder and Kevin Smith. So we are Here kind we are. of on theme in, in in a weird way. We watched what did we Netflix, watch, dogs? Netflix original by visionary director Zack Snyder, Rebel Moon Part One, Child of Fire and Wind and Ice. Yep, you gotta say um, the whole thing every time, just like a tribe yeah. call quest. It's yeah. just like fucking BVS, like every like <laughs> like these titles. Like just call it fucking Rebel Moon, please. Rebel Moon Part One is fine. Like why is no the whole a- the whole trilogy is going to be called Rebel Moon. It's a trilogy? I thought it was a duology. Oh, it, it's oh, at oh. least a trilogy. No, it's going to have prequels it, and yeah. comics and all kinds of shit. This motherfucker he is going to he is going to set out to make this more movies than Star Wars to get the same yeah. story. And they you will all be better than Star Wars. He says that that Army of the Dead is canon to fucking Rebel Moon somehow. Like they're uh, in the same big, universe. That's a big universe. He's in the 40k universe for most of this movie, which I love. Uh, he, I do. I do kind of hate it when directors just tie their movies together. Like it's like, did you know that Donnie Donowitz is Lee Donowitz from True Romance with Grandfather? Like, who could give a fuck? There's, yeah, like and to one end. Yeah, yeah. but it, it, it's like I don't mind it. Like when they like Tarantino put like the fucking red apple cigarettes and all. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's like yeah, that's who gives fun. this shit? And like. And when uh, when Keitel talks about Alabama in Reservoir Dogs, I guess it's not yeah. too far of a jump to think that he might be talking about Alabama from True Romance. Yeah. Right. Like, it, that's fine. You know what I mean? Like, they don't really go too far after that. And that's mostly, like, fan shit. That's not, like, yeah. anything he's ever come out and said. Anyway, let's get into this fucking movie. Let's, what did you guys watch this week? I'm going to start with my main man. No, not you. Not oh, you. Wait, wait, wait your turn. It's going to be Alec, I bet. Sean. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Football. Watch anything either. Yeah. They put uh, football Alex. on Saturday. I don't watch any movies. Yeah. I watch one thing. One thing? Uh, actually, it might have been two things. I think I, the, the prequel to this movie, I think I watched a few weeks ago, didn't talk about it. I watched, this week I watched Pre- Good Burger 2. Oh. oh. Hmm. That's in the same what? universe as Rebel Moon? Oh, I thought you meant the prequel what? to Rebel Moon. I was like, no, oh, yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> a few weeks ago, I watched Good Burger. Oh, nice. Oh. And this week, I watched Good Burger, too. I don't think I ever talked about Good Burger. Good Burger is not a good movie. Mm. Yeah, but it's fun. Good Burger 2 is abysmal. Uh, it makes ooh. Good Burger 1 look like... <laughs> I tried to say you from a... <laughs> Uh, what is it? Uh, James Allen Bob Strait Bad. House Party 1 looks like House Party 2. <laughs> Good Burger 2 stuck out loud. Uh, it makes Good Burger 1 look like Citizen. It makes Good Burger 1 look like Citizen Kane. Um, stinks on ice. <laughs> it's so bad. Um, and the, the guy. It's kind of like, what's Keenan. the point, right? Like, who? Money, yeah. right? Yeah, but it went straight to streaming. Like, like Keenan should be fine, but Kel needs money. Kel looks He looks like a skeleton with skin on. Oh, Jesus. It's bad. Like, he had, it looks like he had, like, really bad Botox. Oh, no. He looked like a ghoul from Fallout. Uh, I haven't seen What's Fallout. Skin? <laughs> but I, I did watch the trailer for it. I'm excited for that show. Yeah, the trailer looks good. Um, hopefully the show's as good as The Last of Us, because that was tremendous. Do you guys yeah, see we, that they're going to... In, in our good video game content era, hopefully? Because The Last I, of Us is great. 
So. Did you guys see that they're going to add commercials to all Amazon Prime now, and then you have to pay for another commercial yeah, free tier? That. that means I will just cancel. Well, no, I probably will never cancel my Prime. I'll still have Prime. Yeah. I want two days, right? Just means more that's, things will end up on the Plex. That's really all it means. <laughs> I was reading an article they talking about they, you know, they knew they couldn't sustain it, so they did it just long enough to kill cable, just so they could immediately become cable. It's like the fucking proletariat always replaces the bourgeoisie. I mean, at 125 yeah. billion or whatever Jeff Bezos is worth post divorce, he's got to he's got to get chase that ad money. Like, come on, dude, yeah, tighten his bootstraps, right? Yeah, put uh, yourself up by a bootstrap. Jeff. Real real quick about Good Burger. The Good Burger tie-in promotional burger at Arby's, actually pretty good. Just got to say that. It's a good burger. I thought it was pretty good. What solid is the uh, what is the what is the sauce? It was like a it was like a Big Mac sauce. Ow. Like no big surprise yeah. there. Yeah, but it was like, good. Like it was like a good quality good quality patty. It was a like a, a little bit better than a normal fast food hamburger, I thought. I thought it was pretty solid. You know, quality, you, quality patty, like patty mayonnaise. <laughs> yeah, Doug. Remember that? You, you, Doug? Do I remember? Story I love of, Doug. About my buddy, he went to, do you remember Quail Man from Doug? Did I ever tell this story? Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, I, you didn't tell a story, I remember. I know so, Quail Man. So he walks in the full Quail Man regalia. He walks into a party <laughs> Two seconds. Somebody goes, "Who are you supposed to be, queer man?" And then he <laughs> had to leave and go home. <laughs> Pretty good. Shortest Halloween party ever. Also, you know you're down bad when the promotional burger is better than the movie. Uh, <laughs> it, it wasn't bad. Shout out to Arby's. Arby's doesn't get enough uh, enough love. I love Arby's. <laughs> That's all. Uh, anything I else, for Alex. But I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna steal some of Sean's time to talk about something that really annoyed me. Uh, oh yeah. So, so the is it me? Rules. No. Well, oh. <laughs> I'm, not talking, I'm not talking about you. Um, Invincible season two came out back in like November. Oh yeah, yes. They aired four episodes and then went on hiatus again until like March. Oh, what the fuck? To release the second half of the season. Because I kept looking for episodes, and I'm like, what the fuck? And I finally Googled it, and then Robert Kirkman, who God bless him as a creator, he's a great creator, but he is just the fucking worst. Yeah, he he, he like, made this quote. He's like, if people, he's like, I don't understand all these people complaining about how long it's taking for the episodes to come out. Like, just wait for good product. Like, dude, it, you're making an eight episode season. Just release well, it all at once. It's an well, animated it's series. Hard. It's not like they're drawing it live. Why do they need to take a break? Yeah. Also, oh don't my even God, it made me so because... fucking mad. And he just, he just he is like. God bless them, because between The Walking Dead and Invincible, those are probably two of my top ten comics of all time. Invincible is one of my favorites. Like, I love yeah. Invincible. Yeah, but he does seem That guy seems though. like... Yeah. So he seems like he's... Him and Kevin Smith would probably be best friends. Yeah. Like, he, they would probably absolutely love to hang out together. Yeah, he is... Um, he's very <laughs> annoying. And, I like, that sucks that they, they want to, like... It, it's funny. Sean just said Amazon's turning into cable. Like, there you go. They, their shows literally have mid-season hiatuses, just like real shows. Like, what the fuck? That's yeah, that was, the whole, that was the nice thing about, like... And Amazon still re- released a lot of their stuff weekly. But, like, Netflix yeah. would drop the whole season at once. I, it's already in I, Japan. I, like, you're not working on yeah. it next yeah, year it's, anymore. Yeah, it's like, stop being yeah, my fucking parent. Out. Like, if I want to yeah. eat the whole pizza today and not have anything for tomorrow or the next day, that's on me. You know what I mean? Just let me fucking yeah. do what I want. I, I think, like, I, I, I I think can, all of us. I, sorry. I can get, I'm sorry, I get why <laughs> some of the streamies do it, because there's no other incentive to keep it month to month. Like Paramount right. Plus? Yeah. But, like, Amazon, like, 90, 90% of the people who have Amazon Prime have it for the the video is a bonus. They yeah, have it because they want to yeah. get shit delivered in a day. Like, and that's, yeah, like, that's, that's why I'll never cancel it. Cause it's just like, I joke at the beginning, I was like, I'm going to can't. And then I'm like, Oh wait, I want the shipping. And I order too much shit from Amazon. Cause I'm like, yeah. everybody else. Amazon, Amazon and Apple are the two that are like, if you have those, you're locked into those for like ever. Because you know, mm-hmm. I I canceled mine last year and like I'm not too mad at it. Of course, I'm in that like privileged class where TJ can just get us whatever we want. That's nice, but it's like <laughs> I save a lot of money because I don't just order shit just to order it now. Mm. A lot of dumb, Mr. Fancy. Must man. be nice, <laughs> Frenchman. I ordered something while you were talking. 
I don't doubt it. You know how many fucking Blu-rays I've ordered? Like, ooh, source code. Like, I'm never going to fucking watch that again. I was, I, I was I, this close to ordering the Criterion Lone Wolf and Cub full thing on Amazon should, Day because it's on sale for I mean, you should because I, I got that. Yeah, think, we got it. It's awesome. Sean and I bought that. How much is it? 60 bucks. Uh, we got it for like I paid. No, we, we got, got it for like even lower, thirty right? because they yeah, accidently they when they it listed wrong. it, they listed the Blu-ray at the DVD price. Yeah. And TJ calls me like, "You better fucking get this before they fix it." Because yeah. uh, that's one and I watched. I Gogs, I brought that over to your place. We watched uh, Shogun I, Assassin. I highly yeah. recommend that Gogs. That is a yeah. really great collection. Like, well, I was sitting there really listening to really Liquid Swords earlier today, and I was like, "Oh." They have it's, they it's, have uh, the Lady Snowblood duology too. That's a Criterion now. Yeah. Is that what you call yeah. one of two? Yes, I, I mean so. I said duology earlier, and I didn't know if yeah. that was a thing. Yeah, uh, get, uh, Mr. Alec. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> rambling on uh, two things. Yeah, two things. My, that is my, our favorite my, thing. <laughs> my favorite. My favorite topic: old Japanese movies. Hmm. Um, TJ. Uh, I didn't watch anything. Saturday oh, yeah. is my Based. designated movie watching night, and they put football on. And I will well, watch. in a manner of speaking. Well, yeah, but I watched. I don't know that that in that Colts Texan game was actually yeah. pretty exciting. It was kind of fun, and I love yeah. Gardner Minshew. It, it sucks that that uh, everyone telling me he sucked all this time was actually right because he's not very good. It was fun though. Um, but uh, but, but yeah, like, how how are you feeling if you're Frank Reich right now and you're like, well, that's the guy I wanted to pick, and now the owner's yeah. up in the fucking press box hawking drinks at people. Yeah, for real. Um, also, anyway, Frank Reich yeah. is Frank Reich the third, which is really funny to me. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Wow. Uh, but no, I was going to see Iron Claw this weekend, and I just never got around to it. I'll probably see it by the time this show comes on next week. Uh, Gogs. Uh, uh, nothing. I was just battling yeah. crippling anxiety all week, so it's oh, you all right. We're good. No, I'm better now. I got out of it. Just more so than to watch Rebel Moon. More, more so, so than, than usual. Normal. Oh, okay. More so I'm than usual. It was a rough one, but it's cool. Have, have, has anybody been having the uh, like I could die in my sleep and it wouldn't be unusual thing lately? Because I've been going through that one where it's like you know I'm at that age where if I died, nobody'd be like, ah, oh, I, I get it. Someone would. I mean, someone would probably say I get it, but I I think someone would. Yeah. We would probably, probably notice. I would. Mm. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, I don't notice, but it's like you know, it's not like oh my god, what a tragedy! He was only seventeen, and be like, oh yeah, I, I know Sean. Uh, yeah. I <laughs> no. Well, I I up, moving on to uh, sleep apnea. Well, yeah. speaking of like things that might kill you, and since we, I didn't watch any movies, I will bring this up. There was a uh, some discussion earlier today with some people about trying to host the nine 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 challenge this next baseball season. Um, like a Dreamcast thing. Nine mean? hot dogs, nine beers, and nine innings. Can you do it? And I was like, the nine hot dogs. I know you guys could do ground. it. Of course I could do it. I could of do it. Like, standing on So my thought was. On, hold, on, hold, on, hold on. Pause. Pause. So you got to eat nine hot dogs. Nine hot dogs. And nine beers and nine innings. So you Clear nine hot dogs. Now, now there's a pitch kit now. Pitch pitch clocks in play now, right? So you got to. You have a tight window. You got three have hours, good... dog. You've seen you've seen yeah. me eat eleven pieces of pizza in the I'm course saying, of like yeah. one movie. So, so it's yeah, a beer, it's a base of beer and a dog every twenty minutes for three hours, right? Yeah, that's easy. My thought is to sprint. Like I could shotgun six beers in the first inning and then coast through now, the rest. Then you might get sick. Why? You gotta you yeah, know, you gotta just yeah, just just pace yourself. Why 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 rush? The, the power power move is to get like a get like a huge glass and crack Honestly, three beers into it. And yeah. drink it as two big glasses of beer. The worst thing about that challenge is how much all those beers are going to cost you. Right? That's, no, 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 no. We're going to do it in uh, in in. Are you going to do home beer? Someone's front yard. We're going to just do a soft opening, and we're not going to do what? it in a. What, what fraternity are you hanging out? That would be. Yeah. What is? Yeah. This isn't it just even. Came like, up in conversation. It came up in with who, Liz? Yes, Liz <laughs> is like, hey, do you think you could do this? She's trying to put me in the ground to collect the. Hanging out with the trilams. I don't know, man. <laughs> I, I I eat a lot and I can drink a lot. This doesn't even seem that difficult. Like uh, as far as Especially like if you're not talking about stuff, salt, you're talking about regular ass hot dogs. Yeah, regular yeah. hot dogs, twelve ounce beers. Now, if you were like, can you eat nine calzones and drink nine car bombs? <laughs> like that would be something. Yeah, that's different. That's I like clear this, nine car like, bombs. That's like this fucking like gross ass like man versus food. Like, can you eat this forty five pound burrito? And I, the answer is yes. 
You just were wasting food. It's disgusting. I don't like it. But anyway, all right, anyway. let's into fucking Rebel Moon. Gogs. Rebel Moon. What happened in this movie? Oh, my this God. What doesn't happen movie? in Rebel Moon? Oh, a lot uh, doesn't happen. <laughs> so, so kings have reigned over the Empire for thousands of years straight, and all the kings are kinging it up, and... They've conquered all that there is. Like the thing about the, years is they are consecutive. I don't know they are. <laughs> but I think it's a thousand kings in a row, maybe, and then a space <laughs> vagina opens up, and oh a big God, old ship vagina. flies through it. What um, the fuck was that? The first thing you see in this movie is literally a fucking, like, a wormhole or teleporter thing. That I mean, it was like a, it was vaginal, was it not? Well, like Zach Snyder probably, I bet you Zach Snyder's a big Georgia O'Keefe fan. Uh, oh so, so space-time yeah. blooms. And out comes this ship. Oh, the and, and then, and we're treated to the story of how the latest king, Carrie Elwes, and his wife have been murdered. Was it was Carrie Elwes. Yeah, I didn't and, know it um, either. He looked weird. I was like, it looked like him, but it also looked like it could be just kind of a guy that looked like Carrie Elwes. He looked all bloated. Me, it took me almost the entire movie to realize that the villain was at screen. Yeah, I, 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 in the middle of it, I was like Did texting. You? Sean was like, oh, fuck, that's that's Ajax from Ajax, Deadpool. Yeah. That's from Deadpool, right? Yeah, that's what I I got also, him. The one I didn't get was uh, Gogs was like the Viking guy in the beginning is fucking, uh, what, what's his nuts? Yellow jacket. Yeah. That was him? Yeah. 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 Oh, shit. I didn't know Dude, that. I think Zack Snyder made everybody take steroids before they shot this movie because you yeah, get well, the Digimon you know, Hansu, and he, he is fucking tiny. enormous. Huge. Did you uh-huh. know who else, who else I didn't realize until I was watching a review of this movie today? So one of the blood axe guys is, or is it, well, there's only Ray Fisher. Yeah, it's Cyborg. I was like, oh shit, I didn't, I didn't realize that's who that yeah. was. No, oh, well, anywho, um, I'm glad he was stuck around for about ten minutes of film. Yeah, uh, yeah, more about him later. So, Not much. Uh, more. So you're, you, the, the, the Carrie Elwes has been murdered, and as a result, in the, uh, in the, in the chaos that follows, the king being regicided. Um, you were selected. Outer, some of the outer rim planets have decided to go into revolt. So uh, this guy pulls an emperor, Palpatine, and his name is Belisarius. And he's like, I'm going to control the Senate now. Uh, he's also I'm like the send Shadow out. King from the old X-Men comics. Like he lives on the astral plane, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, they he's, don't like, really he's like winter of youth. That's something they. How dare you? Don't. That, that, that's something that they they touch on kind of at the end of this movie. I guess we'll get more of it in the second. Also, one. like resident Warhammer scholar Gogs would know that like the the dead king ruling the the, the what is the male the man the Imperium faction? of man the Imperium yeah. of man yeah like that's a Warhammer thing. Oh, that's a, all these things are Warhammer things. Like so, he sends out Ed Screen Screen whatever Ajax his most brutal. Um, common do- well, it's not a common star because yeah. that's what no, he in Warhammer. Well he might as well yeah, be. He because, dresses like yeah. a commissar. Literally Everyone's carrying not. bolters because um, because Zack Snyder he was like, well, stormtroopers and the Empire are basically Nazis, so I'm just going to dress them up as Nazis because you know I don't understand. I, I do appreciate that they have a detachment of South Africans for zero reason. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like that that accent when those guys got got, I was like. Um, a Nazi but, and his favorite weapon is like a shillelagh or something. It's like, no, it's, that's a femur bone or something. Yeah, or yeah, yeah. that's a femur. Um, anywho, um, I implore everyone listening to this to go just do a deep dive into YouTube uh, 40K lore because you're going to be like, hey, I've seen that before. That should um, give you nightmares if you leave it on while you're sleeping. Can confirm. Um, so anywho, uh, uh, speed speed ramp jump to uh, farm anachronistic future Amish farm planet where this is one of those are, things that always bothers me when they have candles and regular lights at the same time. I don't walks, know why that bugs the fuck out of me. Hut and she does a touch lamp yeah. and, and old dude sitting next to her is burning like, is like, like whale yeah. blubber to make light. I'm like, what's happening? All of you got I, here yeah. via spaceship I mean, and you're living in stone huts. Those candles are scented. Oh, oh that's a aromatherapy thing. I got you. Yeah, we need an empty LED light. Yeah. There are a lot of white women on this planet or moon. They are. Um, where are all the white women at? So uh, we're here. They're plow. This lady, uh, uh, old blade leg. Plowing lady. <laughs> old, old, what's her name? Sophia Botella is yeah. out there plowing. She finds a rock. She gets. She gets 
intimate with the dirt. And then they're like, Hey, smelling the dirt. Uh, that's it. She she does it like five times in the movie. It's like, they're right. like, hey, uh, Steve fell mule deer. Let's go celebrate. So they go back to the longhouse, and they literally have like a harvest festival uh, bull roast where uh, Yellow Jacket's like, hey, everybody, good work out there. Uh, fuck for nature. Go home and plow. And then well, they, the fact that they call it the longhouse implies that they're space Native Americans. Or space Vikings. I thought, I thought they were Vikings. Isn't that a Viking term? No, it's also it's a Viking uh, term. Native American thing. Oh, I didn't. Well, it's it. a native Scandinavian. So, anywho, mm. they. Uh, so apparently, these people are choosing to be like on a nice new punk band, Native Scandinavian. <laughs> so they're choosing to be like Luddite stupids, um, because there's a port. There's most Isleys just over the over the hill. So, anywho. Yeah. It's the next day. No one knows who plowed who. Uh, fields are still getting plowed and sown. Uh, the old man is talking to Sophia Batella. He's like, you should bang someone to be a full member of the community. And then she looks up <clears throat> and sees the dreadnought. And this big old fucking warship is, like, hanging out. And then she runs to the middle of Which town. and suspiciously like uh, the Yama, Yamamoto, because, uh, again, like, everything is stolen from something else. It the, does uh, look like the Yamamoto. Yes, Holy it shit. Okay. Because it it's not an original idea in this whole fucking movie. This thing doesn't... Oh, when it, Tarantino it does, does it, you call it an homage. Uh, no. No. This, this Yamamoto does do if an homage. If later. there was something else to this movie, if it was written <laughs> well... or yeah, Tarantino has... Tarantino hasn't had an original idea in his life. It's all dripped off Japanese movies. Again, but Zack hey. Snyder. I mean, Zack I mean Snyder, straight up, the the car from Vanishing Point is in Death Proof. Like, and they just say it like, hey, look at that. It's the car from Death Proof. It's basically just Ready Player One. Wow. Mm. Hell yeah. There we go. So now. So you're saying, so you're saying <laughs> Ready Player One is as good as any Tarantino movie, basically. Basically. So, anywho, the Yamamoto shows up. Sophia Batella goes in the middle of the, the 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 town and rings the gong. Get it on, ring the gong. Uh, everybody's He's like, like, "What are we?" Hey, everybody, come outside, even though everyone's already outside. <laughs> and then they 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 form up and they have a, a colloquy in the longhouse, what? and they're like, uh, "Yo, it's like, it's like a it's like a quorum." Yeah, it's um, like it's a legal it's like a legal meeting. <laughs> so they go out they go into the longhouse and I like, got one Yo. of them calendars. <laughs> like, Yo. Did you even go to law school? Is that what we never heard? It doesn't matter. She points to the sky and she's like, Yo, that shit's bad. And then uh Wish dot com uh Bradley Cooper's like I don't know. It could be I. Right. And then Yellow Jacket's yeah, like, you thought that no. Wish dot com Bradley. I thought he was Wish dot com. That guy from Pedro Andor. Pascal. I thought oh. Andor and him. Yeah. 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 What's the it's Andor guy's name? Wish dot com. Like, I can't think of it. Andor Diego guy. Luna. Diego. I thought he looked just like Diego Luna. <laughs> I, I mean, think I Ed, see that show. I heard that's not bad. I, I was co- Ed Screen was uh, Wish dot com Nicholas Hulk in my head until I feel uh, figured out he was Ajax. Um. So anywho, you think like, they have a budget? They didn't have Holt money. Uh, but, <laughs> but, like but, but, Holt. but, but, and he, but. You know what else he looks like? He looks like the guy that was the other war boy in, in, uh. Yeah, that's the other guy I was looking up, too. Yeah, yeah he was like, yeah, uh, Nux's and, boy. Just can't think so, of anywho, that. she points to this guy. She's like, this is bad. And the other dude's like, I don't know. And then Viking Daddy's like, if they find out you've been selling grain to the rebels, we're boned. So, we're just going to fucking Can I pause it, it? real yeah. quick? I know we got to get shit done, but uh, the plot of the Seven Samurai is roughly uh, analog- analogous to this, I guess. But it's like they have some bandits show up, and it's like you've got nine months to get all this grain or through the season or whatever, and then we'll be back. And they do the same thing in this movie. I was telling TJ, like they couldn't come up with some kind of space who's a fudge or some kind of fuel. It's like, nah, just just make it bread, this, like this space like, bread. This literally is like one space of those where it's like, it, I, like now again, if this was written to be like tongue in cheek and making fun of Star Wars, I'd be like, okay, that is kind of funny. But this is just as stupid as having like the fuel subplot in the Last Jedi, where it's like, I I don't care about space fuel, like. I care about this giant army that they can't get food provisions, so they need wheat. Like, what? Like, it's just, I don't know. It's very so, dumb. So, anyway, uh, uh, the dropship drops, 
and some space Nazis come out, and they're wearing, like, they're in, like, a combination of 40K and Necromonger regalia. Uh, and I'm not going to lie, Ed Screen is just chewing the scenery. Oh, I think he's a lot of fun like, in this movie. Um, he's part of the movie. He's fucking sinister and whatever. He's like, hey, I want to make a deal with you cats. Uh, what's the deal? Look at all this good old fields you got. Well, and this then, is Zack Snyder doing his, of, his uh, Christoph Waltz scene. Uh, like, this is that, yeah. yeah, this was this is a Jew this hunter. Is, yeah, this is yeah, the, the beginning of, of Inquiry's Bastard. So he walks up, he, and he's talking to Yellow Jacket, and he's like, he's like, how can all these fields, he's like, can you, yo, we need some, I want to buy your excess grain. And Yellow Jacket's like, yo, I know it looks like a lot, but like, we don't have that much grain. And then Bradley Cooper uh, is like, well, we might have some grain, and after this de- wink, uh, Yellow yeah. Jacket gets annihilated uh, with blunt force trauma, and then his wife gets like split in half with a lightsaber, I think, or something that those, shows up. It's, it's a those hot light, sword. Those lightsabers look dope as shit. That yeah, was cool. Um, Into it. So then they're like, "Listen here, dicks, uh, we're coming back in ten weeks, and we want ten thousand bushels of grain." And if you don't do it, we're going to fuck y'all in the mouth. Like, do you guys know how grain works? Yeah. <laughs> also, they're just eating I, it, I, like, on hand. Like, are they processing I, it? They're just doing lippers. No, just literal lippers grain. I, I, uh, I, I love this scene because the, when Sophia Batella, when she first sees the dreadnought, and she's like, what do you think? Or the, and the, what's his name? Bumblebee or whatever is like, what do you think they want? And she goes, everything. And then this scene ends with the fucking evil Nazi guy going, I want everything. It's like, jeez. I mean, they're all you know, brand. Honestly, I'll, I'll take that over. I want to introduce some legislation into the Senate. Like, just, Look, it's fine. It's, yeah, they're just bad guys. They're just sure. bad. Like, you know what I'm saying? They're arch. Everyone's arch. There's no shades of gray. Yeah. So, anywho. Then. Uh, well, well, except for the color palette. Well, yeah. Uh, so, so, they're like, we're going to leave this detachment of space South Africans and Sir Anthony Hopkins stuck in this ornate robot. Uh, so they leave their, their detachment of guys there, and Anthony Hopkins is like a peaceful robot. Uh, he's a party bot, and he's just going to let things... To find out that the robots, like, lost their will to fight when the After king After the died. king died, and then, like, they love the daughter who's alluded to later, and yeah. then the well, one guy who's, like... I don't like, hate that conceit. Also, real quick, the robot's initials are JC... Uh, 1435, and I look it up, there's a, you know, he likes the Bible. It's numbers 1435 is. Hang on. About I, the Lord, have spoken, and I will surely do these things to this whole wicked community, which is banded together against me. They will meet their end in this wilderness. Here they will die. So, like, I'm speculating, but knowing Zack Snyder, I'm like, that seems like something he would put in there. Yeah. So, uh, the, the one, the one space Nazi has like an incredibly short torso, but he's very wide and he's just a dick and he's like popping shots at the one robot. And there's a little the, uh, WWE star Gunter, uh, formerly. Yeah, Wolf. I can see that. Yeah, but it's like Gunter if he was on a planet with a gravitational of like it's just point six. Just, just come back. It's just his yeah. face and his hair. So anywho, um, one of the space Nazi twinks, he's like, hey, we shouldn't be doing this. Uh, and so anyway, they take over a long house and they're doing stuff and there's a young girl there and they want to take her water. You know what I'm saying? Um, so there's a, there's a little showdown because, uh, Sophia Batella just wants to get out of here and, um, Paul Kent, who found her in her meteorite, hands her her, uh, fucking pistol and goes, you might need this. And then she goes. It's dangerous to go alone. Right. Yeah. <laughs> also, like real quick, apparently there's a director's cut of this movie because I don't know why. Like, I mean, it's not like it's different than the theatrical cut that it's you had released like, in theaters. It's not like a movie that you didn't have a hundred percent control over releasing in the fucking first place. Like, and like, I know it's just a gimmick thing, but maybe that's why this like the the SA scene seems like wildly incongruent to the rest of the movie. Like, I get well, it. Like, you're evil, but also, it's, there's also a turn it on the head male on male essay yeah. scene that we're gonna get to yeah. later. Yeah, yeah, um yeah. so anywho thanks, thanks uh, right, so, I fucked uh, men in twelve systems. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fucking Doctor Whatever his name is That's from uh, I forgot that guy's a doctor. Why yeah, is that line in the movie? Doctor Venarius or whatever his name is from fucking for me. Uh so anywho, uh the space Nazis are about to have their way 
with the space Amish and uh, Sophia Batella hears about it and she comes in with an axe to go handle business. Then she handles said business um, oh, yeah. uh, efficiently and without mercy. And then the lead space Nazis got dude up against, like she's got like the young woman with a pistol against her head and the, the space Nazi twink is like, I'm with you guys. And yeah. there's and a bit of a appears from the rest of the fucking movie. Never shows th- up. Yeah. It never shows up. Well, he'll be back. Um, so there's a space Mexican standoff, and what are we going to do? Sir Anthony Hopkins shows up, and he picks up a gun again because he's forsworn violence, and he's like, you know what? I dabbled in pacifism once, not in Nam, of course, and then he fucking <laughs> zaps dude in the brains. Uh, and now we got a little, a little bit of revolution cooking. So now Sophia Batella's idea is I'm going to go two towns over to Mos Eisley, and I'm going to get us an army to fight a spaceship. So. Yeah. Again, well, also it, roughly the plot of the Seventh Samurai. Well, because because uh, her, what's his name, Discount Diego Luna, has sold grain to the rebels, so he has a contact in Mos Eisley. Yeah, That's how she, yeah, yeah. So they show up in Mos Eisley, and a dude gets like a arachnid locked up in like this like binding robot, and That's he gets pulled cool. off. It yeah, is that's cool. one, of the, one of the better designs in the movie. And, like, the way, like, I didn't realize that it was, like, meant to paralyze you. Like, it wasn't to kill you. Because, like, later but they were going to, like. It's also the fucking Rackney for Mass Effect. It's, like, the same exact setup. Oh, right. So so they they haul off his contact. Like, well, shit, we got to figure something out. So they go to the bar. And then it's uh, no blasters, no droids. And uh, uh, Bradley Cooper no gets, Irish. gets his penis grabbed. And Look then out, he's Irish. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Shakalu like gets his fucking hand slapped and then they peace out then uh after he gets like just diminished mascul like emasculated by Sophia Batella, then they talk to like a brain slug from fucking uh ID four who's using just this dude to communicate and he's like, Hey, I might know where you can find uh, Digimon, Digimon Hansu, you gotta find him over in fucking. Oh yeah, I forgot the whole, the whole she, the, their, their big mission, like their, their, their main quest it, it, before all these side quests was they want to find Digimon Hansu because he's a great general, right? Yeah. That was that was their initial thing. That yeah. was their thing. So he's he like he's in, the Colise- in the yeah. he's in the Clone Wars. He's in the yeah. <laughs> he's in this Coliseum. So now the farmer and the old soldier are in a bar looking to get off world. They fight a guy with a fucked up face and his lackeys to the death. And then they meet a charming space pirate. Where have we heard this before? So, so like, I don't, if everybody doesn't know already, like, uh, when Lucasfilm sold to Disney, everybody's pitching Star Wars movies. And Zack Snyder literally pitched them this movie, Seventh Samurai and Star Wars. And then they didn't do it. And he was like, they're, he's like, I'm making the movie anyway. And they're like, you want to change anything? He's like, not really. I'd rather it's, not. This is his uh, black swan to um, perfect blue. So, um, I mean, it's not nearly as good as the movie I'm about to mention. But there are a lot of notes in this movie, even though it's much longer and, like, obviously going to be multiple parts. There's zero chance he can wrap this story up in one more movie. Absolutely no, zero no, chance. No, no yeah. Way. But... This movie, a lot of the notes and beats reminded me of the best Star Wars movie, Rogue, Rogue One. One. Yeah, oh, the, the war, like, the war yeah. parts are like war. It's like well, good. this this movie is bits of everything we love, right? It's fucking Dune. It's Star, the old Star Wars. It's fucking um, Jupiter, Chronicles of Riddick, Jupiter Ascending. <laughs> what's the um? What's things the, we love in quotes? Bro, ten toes for Jupiter from, Ascending. Uh, you know that. What's the line from uh? Big Trouble in Little China. It's like, you know, we take the things we like and leave the rest just like your salad yeah. bar. Chinese um, got a lot of hells, Jack. <laughs> so, uh, they, so, Charisma Vacuum, Charlie Hunnam, who's actually, I think, doing some stuff in this he, movie. I he's hate grown him. on me. He's, he's um, in Triple Frontier. Yeah. So and they're like, since, since Triple Frontier, he's done a lot. I wonder if somebody, his agent was like, bro, he tried. We gotta get you, we gotta get you a coach. Maybe he listens to the show. That's Maybe probably we it's probably Maybe we what shamed it him into it. Um, He's like, "Hey, am I really that bitch?" <laughs> <laughs> so he he's like, "Listen, we're gonna go." <laughs> they say gonna... I'm as bad as Matthew Fox. <laughs> oh no, this, he's terrible. <laughs> we lost TJ. That's fine. The the people who like movies can talk. Um, so now, uh, 
he's like, hey, I know some real bad dudes, maybe bad enough to save the president. Let's go get <laughs> them on our way to Digimon Hansu. Uh, so they go and get Wish.com Jason Momoa in a... And then stop and pick up John Carter of Mars. Well, they yeah. pick up John Carter of How to Train Your Dragon because it's also literally... Avatar. Also like, Avatar, yeah. Also, yeah, like, just also, the whole season but the sequence Avatar. where he's like, the sequence where he's flying that that Griffin or whatever is like yeah. straight lifted from when uh, Hiccup mounts Toothless for the first time and How to Train the Dragon. I, 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 I don't want to alarm you, but I, I from Avatar too. Also, I don't think yeah. all of us have probably seen How to Train Your Dragon. I feel like that's a movie specifically you've seen. Give it a look. Not bad. Not a bad scene. All three Eddie's of right. them. I've seen it, and he's right. It is lifted from that, okay. but also well, Avatar, especially the uh, part where he jumps down from the top because yeah. predators don't look up. Why would predators nothing, get, nothing attacks them from above? And no, hey, what kind of animal is this supposed to be, Zach? I don't know. All of them. All of them. <laughs> also, <laughs> suck it, suck it from the back. That's the way predators like it. Um, Basically, I, I, I bet, love you, I bet I you love, he was. I, I bet you he was sitting there, like, <laughs> see Zach Snyder sitting there, like, drawing a griffin. <laughs> but thinking it's like his own original concept. Yeah, he's like, what if like, 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 a lion? I guess. Yeah, yeah like, that's pretty much my favorite liger. animal. Um, yeah, say. it's a liger. Uh, I, I love Yeah, dude, it's, it's a griffin. A what? No, I call it a lion tiger. Yeah. <laughs> what if I also made it a bird too? Jesus Christ! <laughs> I like how I like how this. I love Zack Snyder. Snyder. Me too, man. I want to hang out with Zack Snyder real bad. He's like a real bro. <laughs> The scene takes 25 minutes for him to capture this animal, and you think, oh, he's going to use this skill later on in the movie. You would be wrong. Well, you never know. You don't know. Yeah. There's, there's, God three, there's, there's he a uses, whole universe. They didn't, they didn't spend all that money making that thing to not use it again. Like, they, yeah. this thing cost $200 million. He's like, fuck it. I ain't leaving any change. Like, I'm spending every fucking dime we you know got. That they're going to like bring that. a manticore in later or some he's such. There's going to be a bunch of them. Yeah. I, thought, I thought like, it's like the end of Brewster's Million. Like, sir, we have a seventy thousand dollars surplus. Yeah, I thought maybe it. he could he could do something with the fucking spider lady that's coming up in a few minutes. Like, no, because she has to get demolished by uh, an they, inquisitor, a forty k inquisitor, yeah. like yeah, a yeah. legitimate wearing the same hat, forty k sword wielding. Also, shout out Jenna Malone in a thankless role, but still trying real hard. Oh my god, god that was Jenna Malone. Yeah. Holy shit. Oh, I didn't even fucking realize that was her. Yeah. So the makeup of this movie is tremendous. I know you know, didn't like the photography, I don't think, but I, I liked it. I enjoyed it. Absolutely despised it. The CGI it, was kind of bobo. Well, the um, thing that sucks is he, he's obsessed with using that Boca lens or whatever that thing yeah, is that he used in terrible. Army of the Dead and everything. So it's got that weird rack focus. Yeah. Well, we'll get I, into I that after the, after the. All right. Sorry. Movie. I watched it at my father in law's house and he, I watched him on his Samsung and I think it had that like weird anti blur like thing oh, that the, makes the everything the like the way filter. Yeah. Yeah. Take that off. So, anywho, um, they get Jason Momoa and they get on the on the spaceship and then the bird lion uh the lurd uh eats the handler uh and now we're going to go to a like cobalt mining planet but it's just a 40k hive world like look up a hive world here we are and they got go to uh, look up HIV world I got a lot of pop ups I didn't want yeah but it's about suppression and being undetectable so now uh they uh Shout out they got to gotta find they gotta find this woman nemesis who's just like a super assassin and she's down here uh just saving babies from spider women uh and she's got her moral code and her shiny swords and she just uh eviscerates jenna malone in kind of a fun fight scene that could have been handled any other way but this is what they chose violence this day um <laughs> So now they're like, hey, if I fight for you, do I get to kill the English? I'm like, sure. I'm like, all right, cool. And then <laughs> they get on the fucking boat, uh, and now they're going to go find uh, Digimon, Digimon Hansu. He's drunk outside of Coliseum. Uh, yeah, he, they, he, he shows up on Ridley Scott's Gladiator planet. <laughs> he's right. an absolute unit. But he's he I, a monster. Huge. Yeah. I, I do like Digi I feel like Digimon Hansu is like, uh, it's like, you want to do this movie? He's like, yeah, I love the script. It's like, did you? It's like, no, nah, I didn't read it. Like, I feel like he doesn't read any script. He just does movies. Yeah, like, he's he like, and his character arc is, uh, I'm too drunk. I don't want to fight anymore. 
and then we'll hose you down, and then okay, yeah, I'm in. Like, like what the fuck? What yeah, he has like a, yeah, his beard That's was all dreaded up. He looked like Davy Jones. Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. But his his uh, his motivations like changed within like it's a, like Gonzo's and, motivation. It's like can I interest you in some vengeance, please? Also, yeah. like his his skill as a general uh, will, will really come into play when they have a, a, a team of six people to fight a spaceship. To fight a spaceship, but I will get yeah, into that. Like, so now, um, so so you're like, why do you all need all these individual singular human people to fight a spaceship? Well, we'll figure it out. Uh, meanwhile, uh, General Hux is torturing dudes back at the base. And he's like, I'm going to go. That's kind of an insult to uh, Ajax or whatever his name Because General Hux sucks. General Hux, yeah. <laughs> um, so, also, uh, hot take, the best costume decision in this entire movie is him wearing that dirty-ass dress shirt and tie. It's dope. Like, I don't know why that got me, but I liked it. He's, uh, so he's, his name is, uh, his name Noble. is Noble. Noble. Yeah. Um, Admiral Noble, I think. So yeah. he finds out that the fish people have been harboring uh, the rebels. So he's like, well, time to go visit the fish people. And at the same time, uh, lo and behold, Sophia Batella and her band of merry men are like, time to go visit the fish people. So everyone's going to go visit the fish people. Um, also, it's, it's important that we skipped over that Sophia Batella was raised by the. Oh, the, I was going to get into that. Oh, that ha- uh, that reveal happened like that, hours it, ago. It happened an hour. Yeah, I okay. realized I skipped over it. So we're just going to just we're going to we're going to take it. We're going to Tarantino it back. So throughout their journey through space and time. Sophia Batella reveals her history, and she, you find out that she was a she was a soldier in the Imperium. Not only was she a soldier of the Imperium, she was such a good soldier of the Imperium. She became part of the elite royal guard and was guarding the Princess Irulan. Now you find she out also, that she became, also as a child. As a child, she was Gamora. Her family correct. was massacred yeah. by the king. Correct. That she well, ended no, not, up protecting. Right. So, well, not the king, also, but the, the guy who's Belisarius, who is the they, current they, brutal dictator. He's yeah, murdered her whole family. family. He's still the king, the king slayer, basically, because he killed, also, he's the guy that killed the king, and now he's also, like the shadow. Well, no, we, Mark we me down for Sophia Batella with man's haircut, because that's kind of, that's a lot of horses for me. That worked for me. Scene, and then when I woke up the next morning, I think it was the next day when I woke up, the text from Sean was like, I really don't hate this. I was like, oh, he must have got to the part about an hour 40 into it. Yeah, and she had her really short Ruby Rose haircut. Dude, I like, dude, I like that. She got that skin fade. It was good times. I didn't yeah. think that Belisarius killed the king. Oh, like, I actually have a theory I that they did that. I could have thought they said that in the movie. It, but like, I think she did. I think yeah. that. Uh, uh, I also think the Water talented. Girl is the princess, but uh, also like girls with undercuts have one hundred percent chance of getting the dick. Like that, I just put that down there for me. Shout out to girls up. who look like Skrillex dot com. So now, um. Hey. The so Sophia Batella, she was uh raised she was in Gaza apparently and then got extradited and put into uh basically forced brainwash camp, became a member of the Imperium of Man, part of the Astra Militarum, if you will. Uh ascends to being like part of the elite guard. She's part of the white what were they called in uh Game of Thrones? The um uh the Night Watch no no the white the 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 whoever the Let's elite guard moving on, move on. The, the King's Guard King King's Guard yes yeah um, so then she's guarding uh Princess Irulan Princess Irulan has like a Babylon A D can bring things back to life things something must have happened because why wouldn't she bring her murdered parents who were murdered back to life so Gog's theory is something happens to the princess. That makes Sophia Batella kill the king and queen. Then she's on the run because her timeline for when she leaves is about when the king died. Anywho, you find all this out. You go to the fish people. They meet up with uh, the war boys from Mad Max. Oh, this one girl is just straight up in Furiosa makeup. Like, it's not even. (laughs) (laughs) So uh, they're the the blood axes. They have uh, – it sounds like characters Gog's made up, the the blood axes. (laughs) So they, they entreat with the blood axes and axes the lead blood axes. 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 Like, axes. like, like chop, chop. chopping axes. Um, blood axes is much cooler, though. That sounds well, It's cooler. like it's a guitar wolf, the man versus the band thing. The people are the axes with an E, and the group mm. is the axes with an I. Uh, so yeah. They deliberately keep it vague. 
<laughs> I, I do. I do. One of my favorite moments of the show is Guitar Wolf the band and Guitar Wolf the man. I, I really enjoy that. I think about that all the time. I needed that to keep straight well. I think I had to do the recap that episode. Oh, yeah. yeah Shout out to Wild Zero also because that movie slaps. That movie does rock. It's one of the best Very movies good. we've watched. Hell yeah. I need to watch it. You do need oh. to watch it. So, well, if we haven't picked a movie for next weekend, we can do that. We um, already reviewed it. I mean, I'll watch it personally. So now... You're not allowed. They go to the fish planet. You got your treat chance. with the war boys. <laughs> uh, some of the war boys says, let's go. And then war boy brothers tells war boy sister, yo, we got to fucking dip. And then uh, I... And then um, the Did fish... Did they say dude, I because they're, cause they're African-American? Yeah, no, it's because they... Cause they cause taste, they're, God. Jeez. No, yeah. come on. Oh, God, don't code switch. switch. <laughs> oh, don't code switch me. Uh, okay, well, I'm about to code Steven switch. Crowder over here. <laughs> I'm about to code switch again because the, the the fish king's like. <laughs> <laughs> <And> then, uh, <laughs> All right, you want me back? <laughs> so then everybody departs the planet, but just in time for the space Nazis show up and do an exterminatus on this bitch and turn the whole place to ash. Uh, I'm not. I'm not going to lie. I like their. Space laser repeater gun better than a Death Star cannon. Oh, that's a lot less show. stupid. That shit yeah. was awesome. And like also, they're taking off like with the mushroom clouds like eminently fucking coming. Like I was like, this is fun. This scene also like probably not for the fish their, people. Their struggle back on wheat planet that much more ridiculous because they can just blow up a planet in like five. But they seconds. need the wheat. But they need the wheat. It's just wheat. You can't find wheat anywhere else in the world. Apparently not. not. <laughs> so, anywho, uh, Charlie Hunnam's like, you know what? I want to join your revolution. Or revolution. B, uh, <laughs> BT dubs, uh, I got to drop off a shipment for Jabba the Hutt in an unnamed space planet. Uh, you mind if we just, you know, do a flyby real quick, 10 minutes in and out, we'll be done. And then back to the revolution. And Sophia Patel is kind of juicy for him at this point. So she's like, yeah, I'm down. Uh, so they go to the spaceport, uh, and that's when Charlie Hunnam springs his trap, which is a little telegraphed. And he's like, oh, by the way, not only did I capture everyone on my bounty hunter list, but I also got you, the most wanted lady in all of space. Also, the space Nazis are coming. Also, your revolution's over. Also, everyone I've loved has been killed by the space Nazis. And the lesson I learned yeah. was don't mess with the space Nazis. Yeah, um, it's actually not a bad turn. I'm not gonna lie. Like, no, I'm. Be- yeah, it actually made this. It made a lot more sense about why you were collecting individual people to fight a spaceship. Um yeah. So then you have a big oh set piece God. battle. What's I up? just yeah. now got that. So that he was Seriously? doing it. Yeah, it's his. He orchestrated the whole thing. Oh, that's so smart. It's, it's not bad. Well, it, it really is. Yeah. He, he lists everyone and like why they're important and why they're bad and why they're a threat to the the space imperium and then uh space farmer uh gets some nuts because he was gonna have to paralyze everyone with the the cigar neck brain yeah. gun and he zaps charlie hunnam through the brains and skulls yeah let's then, roll loose there's a set piece battle which i think is a lot of fun the thing is uh, the problem with this scene is so they're all into their like little crucifix scorpion chairs and yeah. there's mm-hmm. soldiers all around them but they all sit there and wait for all of them to get loose and not just shoot them while they're in their fucking school. What did chairs. we say we were going to do? Attack, yeah, attack like, all at once. Like, part, like, part, of the con- part of the conceit of the chairs, though, wasn't it? You, like, it, uh, uh, what? What's the word? Quadriplegia is eyes or, or of them. It paralyzes them. Yeah. 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 Well, you, you could just also straight up kill them, too. They killed but the also, one guy. In the but, the, but the other part of it with the first guy they showed was they can still, like, hook his brain up to, uh, yeah. 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 They can read his brain. So if they're shooting him and killing him, they can't do that. Right, so they yeah, so they yeah, want all the whole they want already, brain like, goods. It's up. It seems kind of ridiculous. <laughs> However, I think I think the real reason is Zach Star is like that chair is so fucking metal, and they're like, whatever you want, yeah. man. We're just trying to get this yeah. shit done. Yeah. And then he air it's, guitar. It's, it's basically just the chair, the chair from uh, Beetlejuice, just made it's, of yeah. It, 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 it is, is the Beetlejuice. Yeah. Chair. You know what it really is? It's Shockwave, the roller coaster from King's Dominion, the world's first stand-up <laughs> roller coaster. Um, oh that that also ruined me. That's probably more likely what it is. So. Uh, juice. What the fuck is that? This is shockwave. <laughs> yeah, I'm not getting jerked off by a congressman to this. Um, so, anywho, oh, the yeah, uh, so the combat congress person. Ensues. 
Yeah, yeah, so, I get it. Sophia Batella uh, fights uh, the lead space Nazi on the space buoy from Space Jaws. Um, they're also in uh, Cloud City. They're in, yeah, they're in yeah. Bespin, <laughs> wet Bespin, and everything goes to hell. The rebels get killed, but not all the way killed, and then they get away, and they get to go back to Gladiator Planet to see the fields of wheat. Uh, but meanwhile, they harvest uh, uh, lead space Nazi back into a back to tank, and then send him to meet Wintermute on the digital plane. And, and then also, they're like, we skipped over a scene where uh, Nazi guy like is in his room getting like a Legend of the Overfiended. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then that plays into the end of the movie because like he's got his like all his ports are filled up and that yeah. just takes him to like the astral plane or well no I think I think he's having he's, sex with like a space squid that maybe he's no this is a too. this is an altered carbon situation where it's like it's taking his conscious out and putting it into a new body he's getting like re yeah. oh he's getting a new body that's what that right. was yeah oh okay I didn't get that I I don't know because he didn't he doesn't change his body. It's the same well, body. He's got a big old out. port on the back of his head too. He's got all sorts of ports. It doesn't matter. We'll right. find out in the sequels, yeah. which I can't wait for. So now, well, I mean, they uh, literally blow him out of an amniotic sack. I didn't think it was like confusing, but maybe I'm wrong. No, but but it's like the, his body still got the scars and everything from when he goes. Yeah, because it's a clone. I, I don't fucking. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. I don't anyway. know. I didn't, I didn't think that. I thought it was like the tank from uh, Starship Troopers. Or, yeah, from, or it's just repairing the repairing his tank. body, not yeah. a whole new one. Mm-hmm. Anywho, he he talks to the space senator, and the space senator's like, he's like, yo, we almost got him. He's like, you think I'm happy about the fact that you got all of like the scariest dudes in the universe to be on the same team? You're a dick. If you ever fuck this up again, I'm gonna separate your balls from your asshole. And also, then this dude's uh, makeup looks weird. Like all the other yeah, that guy I'll, Pierce old man makeup. Yeah, I'll give you guys. I, I agree. Earlier, like a lot of the makeup I thought was actually pretty good, but this guy looks fucking weird as shit. Like I don't know what it is, but he looked like it just didn't look like, right. Like I don't know what they were going for. It, it, it's just like bad like, age makeup. Like yeah. that's what it looks like. He looks like if. Uh, a child try to draw Duke Leto Atreides from memory. It looks oh, and also he he's got some sort of like lightning based kind of powers in this. Well, on the plane. astral plane or does. wherever they are, yeah, that he does. I don't think he's really got a lightning staff. I mean, it's but, whatever, it's still there. So then, Sophia Patel and them go back to the Shire, and I really expected Saruman to be burning the place to the ground. Yeah, did, but all well, you see, did anybody uh, not expect the whole village to be burnt to the ground? Oh, I thought it, I thought everyone would be crucified, would but like, made a lot and maybe sense. they still are because Sir Anthony Hopkins is now wearing deer antlers, and he might be doing like a full blown midsummer there uh, as a robot god, and but you don't know until the second movie. So that is Rebel Moon, uh, part one, uh, Child of Fire. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what a what a treat. Before we get into like the scores and stuff, because I think I kind of know where everybody's going to be besides Alec. The fucking discourse around this movie about it being the worst movie ever made and all that shit, like it's a, it's got to stop. Like fucking, I think because the backlash from all the fucking Snyder weirdos was so bad that like this is like some kind of counter backlash where it's like, oh, this is the worst movie ever. But it's just like. Fuck, it's not even the worst movie I saw that week. You know what I mean? Like, does anybody, like, really think... If you think this is, like, the worst movie you ever saw, like, this is a Spider-Man 3 thing. Like, you haven't this seen that This is not even the worst... This is not even the worst sex. It's not even the worst sex. It's one movie. of his better... It's one of his better this movies. I mean, again, as TJ would say, it's a low bar. But yeah. it is accurate. So, and also, it, like, yeah. it's still better... And I text the gods. I don't think I text the rest of you guys. Or maybe I did TJ. But this is the better than any Star Wars movie besides Rogue One that's come out since the original trilogy. And I'll I'll stand on that. I don't disagree with you, but it's still awful. Like it's just <laughs> it's just awful. But like, it's, it's so long. And isn't that boring. fucking sad though? Yeah, I mean I don't disagree, but like eating like runny shit isn't any better than eating a big pile of solid shit. Like it's still bad. yeah, you don't have to chew it. Like it's terrible, and I comparing one like like I kind of like uh like saying, well, this is better than Rise of Skywalker. It's like, yeah, I don't want to watch that either. Like I, I wasn't, I, I wasn't as bored as you were. Like I don't, I, there's nothing original about this movie, and like it just blatantly plagiarizes everything, which I I don't give a shit because it's just a it's a dumb dumb movie it, for babies, as TJ's fond of saying. But it doesn't like it doesn't. I know it, I don't care about the plagiarism if it was interesting or fun. Like yeah. it's Star Wars with no humor, without like 
any memorable characters because these characters don't interact with each other at all. Like, there's no yeah. interplay with any of these fucking characters. Well, just, it suffers. It suffers from the fact that he knows he's got 15 hours to fill. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like Zack Snyder, he's getting to the point where he's like, uh, to make a weird analogy, he's, he's like the Washington football team, right? Like one movie he'll make, and Why one part of it make me sad. Why do you one part of it'll be good, and it's like, okay, well. Uh, this was, you know, 300, like, okay, this movie's not great, but it's got promise. Or, like, you know, the secondary is really good this year, and we got some high draft picks. Or, but he just never puts it together. And I'm wondering if he's past the point of being able to do it, or if there's something that he will make a good movie at some point. In my, opinion, in my opinion, he is lost because he is, at this point, he is, he's, he is, he is leaning into his Zack Snyderness, right? So, like, it used to just be, well, Zack Snyder, you know, he was this visionary director, and he still got people to write most of his stuff. Then he started writing more and more of his stuff, and his movies got worse. Now he's in this this thing where he wants to be a goddamn cinematographer, and he's fucking this weird-ass, washed-out, depth-of-field bullshit that he does in every scene. Like, get a cinematographer, dude. You are not he, a cinematographer. I, he's, he's always good. been a photographer. He's just He just has bad taste. You know what I mean? I mean, like, I, I, I was texting Sean about this, and... I'd like to know what uh, TJ and Alex think, but like, honest to God, like compared oh, to oh, some of the other stuff we've watched, oh, like me this is a more restrained Zack Snyder, I think, than we could have seen. Oh, I disagree completely on that. But hold on, I fucked up. Says what? Okay. Fuck up, Alec. <laughs> yeah. Was your favorite? Was your favorite part of this movie? What would be your favorite part of this movie? Um, was it the was it the overt fascism? I don't know. I, I was it the, was your favorite part of the movie the plagiarism? <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> all right, that's a better one. Yeah, I would say my my favorite part would be originality of the script. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, the, color, the color palette. I like uh, I like soft bland colors. Yeah, you like like nice nice soft blues and browns like <laughs> Alex is yeah. like I want everything to look like a PS2 game. I mean, the man I'm, who had made it feel made red look blue. Oh god. I mean, but that's just it, right? Like to go back to what you're saying, Gogs. To me, this is this is him unfiltered. Like ever there's too much stupid slow-mo when it's not needed. Uh he, his his ability to shoot action There was not in, there in was slow-mo. There was slow mo, but there were no Plenty speed ramps. There was no there was speed a, ramps. No there speed was ramps. no. What, there might have been I one. There, there, was there, a, was. there was a brief at the beginning, but like it's not yeah. like I think more. And I see, I kind of see both sides of you guys. Like I see TJ, I see what you're saying. But I think Gogs, and maybe I kind of agree with him. It's not like as crass it's as a un, sucker unfiltered. Punch. Right. It's, it's, it's not, not as that. Crass. The, the fucking first action beat is a friggin' rape scene, dude. Like, Bro, what are you talking about? He, like, about? added... He, he had a fucking speed ramp rape in Watchmen. This is the guy we're talking about, right? So, like... I'm, I'm aware of that, but, yeah. I mean, this is supposed to be his fucking Star Wars movie. He's like, nope, gotta have some rape in there. Like, come on, dude. Like, it's just... He just... He needs somebody... Like, I would love to see... I think we can all agree... That Dawn of the Dead is his best movie, right? Yeah, I would, hands down. I, yeah, yeah. But he didn't. Like, you, you, you said you, you said Dawn, but you meant to say Army. Uh. <laughs> but get mate, and it's never going to happen because again, he's just too leaned into himself. Like, get somebody else to write your material. Like, somebody else write this fucking well, movie. There's two other credited writers on this movie, so like. Do you well, think somebody do, it. do you think he like, let's, Jack let's talk Miner about, yeah, let's talk Hans about Miles. Zack Snyder's process, right? Do you think he's writing human words on stuff? Like Gog's theory of him just right, yelling right. shit that he thinks is cool to his assistant and her trying oh, yeah. to him trying to transcribe it, the more likely scenario. I love it. I wrote say, this movie. I, that's what yeah. I was gonna say. Yeah. It's more likely yeah. that he's like Creating a word cloud and then feeding that word cloud into Chat GPT, letting that write a movie. Yeah, it's an AI. Yeah, I agree with that. Well, he's, doing the, like, he's doing the Harold Zoid. He's walking through there. Hey, do more rapes back there. Like, hey, would it kill you to do a speed ramp fucking sword fight? Look, like, yes, boss. Like, it's well, just. Yeah, Go ahead. I agree. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, you, God, you brought up and Sean, you two brought up the Chat GPT thing. Like, I feel like all his designs feel like AI art, because, like, AI art is, like, super derivative, and it's just, like, 
Nazis in space and that's and like gladiators in space and it's just like you can't well, I do I do I do find something like oddly endearing about his like his understanding of tropes but not understanding how they function like it's like hey map paintings are in old movies so let's have a bunch of digital map paintings and I like it but it like it doesn't make any fucking sense the way they're used you know what I mean yeah yeah, yeah. like yeah, a I, digital I, map painting is a hysterical fucking concept right. stop yeah. you know what I mean <laughs> yeah. Now, if you brought back regular map paintings, all of yeah. them, I think that shit looks great. But I don't know. Like, I just I just get so fr- – I, I think I'm just at my saturation point with him because, like, it's it's like – Your saturation point? <laughs> nice. It's just – it's one thing to be bad, but it's another thing to just be, like, the same kind of just – it's just so – it's bad in the same way as all of his other movies. And it, I don't find it, like – funny and it's just like it's just oppressive and boring and i i'm just not there for it at all like, i don't know I, th- I think this is way better and like it's like it's not good but it is coherent like i understand why things are happening in this movie now yeah, take like I, army of the dead which has an interesting fucking primer conceit but makes zero sense and it has nothing done with it you know what i mean that's why he keeps like having parts of things and never like there's never everything that just goes together yeah, this and is i find like that fascinating a, this is shockingly a to b it's a very mid normal it's like it's just, mid it's script, barely like, has a plot like it's barely like the 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 fucking scenes like you got you go from uh you know farm scene to the fucking uh avatar how to train your dragon scene to snake lady scene and it's just like they scenes don't connect. They're just kind of there. Like you go they to Gladiator. The band, they gotta get the band together, man. Yeah, but yeah. they don't. They don't feel cohesive at all. They just feel like random well, the, things. The, the reason and like I know Seven Samurai is an hour and a half longer, but you don't. Again, we'll bring up the alien thing. But the problem with the getting the band together in this, and again, this I think this is a function of him making nine other movies for this, is that the characters don't have any time to interact with each other. So they don't. They just feel like like little like action figures stacked next to each other. Like, you know what I mean? There's no cohesion. Yeah. I totally, that's my point. I, I, you better, better said, but I just feel like you need some time. And and again, this is his movie, completely his movie, uh, like Netflix completely behind him. I'm sure there was no like Netflix interference. Like you have all the time in the world. Fucking make these characters fucking talk to each other for God's sake. Like, I don't know. Is it that hard? Like to take like something like, uh, Sean, you brought up mass effect earlier. You know, that yeah. game, obviously, you have plenty of time in a video game. But, like, that that game's great because you have conflict in the groups of people that you bring in. Like, how about Nemesis is in a different, like, kind of social structure than, I don't know, Birdman or whatever. Like, give me something. And and it might be, but I, I don't want to wait five movies to see it. Yeah, just you know, show me like that. The movie is two and a half hours long. You have plenty of time. And, and the movie, too, like, is filled with fucking flashbacks and, like, the pacing of this movie is all over the fucking place. Like, I don't know, man. Like, just I, I, to me, like, I, I, like, I would agree that it is not, it is not BVS. It is not like the worst of the worst. It's better like, than Watchmen. Like, uh, I'll, I'll stand on that. Like, it's his third best I, movie. I don't, I don't even know. It's it probably 300 is. and Dawn. It's, yeah, well, uh, those two are way past this. They're and way then past, the, but this is yeah, and then this. Yeah, no, I agree. But. I don't know, man. I I had a real hard time getting through this fucking movie. I I was talking to Sean. I was texting him, and he asked me how long I had to go, and I was like, I don't know. Like, I think I'm on like hour three or four, and I paused it, and I had like an hour and a half left, and I like couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> and then I also, know, like, the movie. I, I didn't. I don't think the movie functions very well as like a part one either like i just feel like it kind of ends and it's like nothing nothing functions well as a part one like when you know it's going to be three different things like you you can never cut it in a good way like the the reason like you know a a star wars works is because it's like it's one movie and then you assume it's done empire is like the second one yeah empire is the rare sequel that works leading into a third movie but like, yeah, and as, you much, know, as, as much as like Lucas wants to retcon it and say he always meant it to be three movies, he's full of shit. Yeah, he didn't no, know. he didn't yeah. know he was going to get the money for the second one. Yeah, yeah they barely got the first one made. So, uh, anyway, I don't know. Right. I, I wasn't any, nearly any, as bored as you were. I, I didn't feel like it felt like as long as like a Highlander two or something. But we got double Alec. Yeah, what the fuck happened? It like kicked. Like, everything just went quiet. Oh, weird. Oh. 
Uh, anything else, guys? Uh, I, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't shut up. I, I, I obviously have a lot uh, hot, hotter feelings about this film. I, I, I have to say this. I walked into this, like, dreading it. I was, like, already, like, oh, I got to fucking watch this thing. And then, like, you know, 45 minutes into it, I was like, all right. Well, it's like you, you read the reviews, right. and they're like, this is the worst movie ever made, and they list all the things that are wrong with it, and the things that are wrong with it are accurate, however, like, it's not the fucking end of the world, like, they, like it, you know, the sum of its parts is not that, you know, it's just it's just a kind of mid-sci-fi movie, Correct. you know? Yeah. If if anybody else had made this, it would everybody it would have a 43% of Rotten Tomatoes or something, you know what I mean? It would just be like a, eh. It's not an RT right now. But this is like this is 20s. definitely a situation where the people that love Zack Snyder are going to call this a goddamn misunderstood masterpiece, and that's that's also annoying as hell. Yeah. Oh no, the Snyder bros are the worst. Like, full stop. But yep. But anyway. they did get us uh, Justice League four hour yeah. cut. Yeah. That we watched. <laughs> I still can't believe I watched that. That the was fourth better. Best movie. That was better than this, I, I thought. I That's agree. almost like a mini series. I don't even know if that counts as a movie. Yeah. Well, that's what I said at the time. Like the Snyder cut is the best thing Zack Snyder has done. But if you need yeah. four hours to tell that story, is it really right? Yeah, good. good it's hard. Like it's awesome. It's like, but it it's like the, you shouldn't need four hours to tell that. No, it's like the fucking the way they bowl in Kingpin. It's like his average is two fifty because they bowl fourteen frames or whatever. It's like that's not really yeah, how yeah. it's supposed to work. <laughs> yeah, uh, 50, 50 frames. So we do everything every, 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 fifty every, percent more than you. Everything the English do, we do well, one time, one a half time extra. Like the second time Kingpin has come up. Great movie. I I, I want to say this because it made me laugh. Uh, it's real quick, but I said like the dumbest analogy to TJ. And like I was uh, maybe this whole track, but I was like him making this as an homage to Kurosawa's like regarding Henry painting Ritz crackers as an homage to the hotel. And like I laughed when I said <laughs> it, but I don't know if that goes anywhere. <laughs> I liked it. Um, yeah, of course. Yeah, I see regarding cool Henry, I, I have. Yeah, I have heard work. of it. I never. I don't think I've ever. Oh. Um, my favorite like part of regarding. <laughs> I'm a big part of regarding. Um. All right, let's get into our scores, I guess. When Sean gives this fucking ten, I'm, I quit the show. No, I was telling. <laughs> let's let Alex no, last because go he's going to be. The, he's the the. I'm really the interested Rust, to hear what Alex. Alex has the Rust Belt with everything. So Alex also is the only person on the show that follows the show rule and doesn't talk about the fucking movie in the chat. All of us are guilty of oh, that. I've, I've had it up. To, was that a rule? Yes. Oh, I, I gotta re, I gotta go over the bylaws again. Go, um, go look at the charter. Alex, the only uh, one that follows it's in the our charter. charter. Um, every, week, on, every week I type out and then delete a text. So, oh, are we not recording this week? Is that why we're talking about the show and the the movie in the chat. See, yeah, see. Well, I see, think yeah. at our age now, some of it I just text you guys, so I'll remember to say it. Like, what oh wait, you did, you fucked up. Gog said something funny about this movie in a text. What was? Oh it? yeah, we're talking about. Uh, that's right, we we're talking about just uh, references. Gog said Snyder's Razor says that the most obvious reference is probably the correct one, which I thought was really funny. Very funny. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Um, I was telling Gog, yeah, earlier that um, like Snyder needs his own like visionary director scale because it's like I don't rate Zack Snyder movies on how they function as movies. I rate them on how they are versus how bad I thought they'd be. So like, which I concur with. Actually. If, if it's better that. than I thought it would be, it gets a plus two. If it's worse than I thought it would be, it gets a minus two. So like, this movie's like a five, but with that scoring system, it would be like a a like a, a natural five and a fucking buffed seven. Like a soft like seven. A, like it's Buff not a good movie. Heaven. Yeah, it's not good. Like it's very mid. Like I like the art direction. You know, I like the photography didn't bother me as much. Like I'm getting used to that weird fucking rack focus. At least it's different. I'm surprised he didn't put in some kind of goofy ass aspect ratio because he also does understand why that works. Like when yeah. he made the IMAX ratio for something that wasn't released in theaters, which is like the funniest thing ever. Like if it was a I bit, not about that. It would oh, be hysterical. Yeah, yeah. but um, I want to see him do like a fourteen by nine ratio. 
<laughs> he's going to do, do the it. fucking, uh, what's the lighthouse <laughs> ratio, Sean? The, like, 4 uh, by 3 is better? Yeah, no, 4 by 3 is like a regular TV. It's like 4 by 2 or something. Okay. He's going to do, like, do it as, like, a slide, like, whatever, like, a slide is. Exactly. Not in the projector. Just like the Lajate. <laughs> Don't stop it. Remember when he was going to make fucking Atlas Shrugged? Um, yeah, but it's like a five, but like I didn't hate it. Like it, it's it's a five in that it's not super memorable, but like I didn't dislike it, you know. So that's kind of where I'm at with it. Uh, TJ, this is two. I I fucking hated this movie, dog. Uh, this movie, I I was not having. I I was straight up not having a good time watching this movie, like at all. Bro, I am straight up not having a good and time. I just like. Everything about it annoyed me, and I never really, like, and I, I, you know, the thing is, like, I really liked Sofia Vitella. I was legitimately excited that she got, like, a leading role that wasn't in a Gaspar No movie, and, like, she's really bad in this. Like, I hate to say it, but she's not very good. Um, I just felt well, the like, dialogue in this movie is atrocious. Like, well, yeah, part of the writing is yeah. so bad, and I just felt like, I don't, again, you know, It's funny in a way of how blatantly plagiarized this whole movie is, but but he doesn't add anything to that plagiarism, right? Like you can literally just, I mean, like if if you want to get technical, right? Like uh, a New Hope is a hidden fortress, right, or the hidden fortress. That was, and Lucas says that, right? Fistful of dollars, of course, that was shit. But those things add stuff to the movie. You know what I mean? Like you you can watch you know, a Clint Eastwood spaghetti western, a Leone movie, and watch a Corsau movie, and you can see the similarities, but, like, they are different things, right? They add something to it. This adds nothing. Like, there's nothing redeemable about this movie. Like, in the, Did you like I, Last Man Standing? You know, dude, I haven't seen that movie since it came out. Like, because like, that's like blatant plagiarism of Kurosawa. I, I enjoy it, you know. I like, remember it, liking it, but man, I haven't seen that movie in like twenty years. Like, I remember enjoying it. It because it, it's just, uh, it's just Ujimbo, isn't it? If I remember, correctly. yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's in like the thirties, if I remember. It's like Cowboy Ujimbo, or not Cowboy, but they're like gangster Gangsters. Chicago gangster yeah. era. Yeah. I mean, there's plenty of movies like that. I mean, you know, you made the joke about Tarantino, so I love, you know, I love Kill Bill, and I love. Yeah. You know, Lady Snowblood and all the other stuff that he lifts in them. But, like, again, there's, like, creative aspects that are added to that movie. To me, like, this movie just felt so, like, oppressive and ugly. Like, again, I really had a problem with the visuals. I didn't yeah, I mean, that's that interesting that, at all. That's, like, an aesthetics thing for him, though. You know what I mean? You just don't like the shit he likes, and that's fair. But, I mean, like, at least it's consistent. Yeah. You know, like. yeah but, 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 but to me, like, that his weird, like, the stuff that he's been doing in his last, like, three movies, really, it's, I guess it started with Army of the Dead, and then he did yeah. it in that weird, like, Joker scene at the end of Justice League. Is that weird? You're the best part of the movie. Soft, <laughs> that weird, like, soft focus that he loves to do. It's like he doesn't, he's just not good at, Bro, he's a like, fucking weeb. Yeah. You know that lens was used in like fucking uh, Zatoichi and shit, right? The like dream. he doesn't understand why it works. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I, again, like overall, I just I just did not find this movie like enjoyable. I I actually like just the last thing I'll say is I was disappointed in the action sequences. I thought that he usually does pretty well in action sequences, like even something like Watchmen, which I don't really care for. Like I think the action in Watchmen is done well. You, you know what? You know what? I bet. I bet you it's cut weird because it's a fucking PG-13 cut, and when they restore it or whatever, I bet you, like, it, it makes a lot more sense. The movie will probably be worse, but that action scene will be better. The spider fight. Like, I thought the spider fight was shot so flat. Like, it, like it's a cool character. The spider fight's cool. The, the, the Jedi lady with the fucking lightsaber hot swords is cool. But then it's just shot so, like, boring. It's just shot, like... Shot reverse shot. You see, like the spider's leg. It's just very flat. I don't know. I just, I don't know, just did not care for it. It's a two for me, dog. Uh, Mister Alex. Oh, we wanted to do. No, Alex, Alex goes last. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dog. Sorry. He's always the deciding boy. Yeah, as well, I, as well, he should be. Yeah. Uh, I'm also gonna give this uh, a seven from a surprise oh. standpoint. Of I really expected this to be an absolute shit fest, and I walked away going, <laughs> it's all right. 
See, but you uh, give this a se- like a straight seven, whereas Sean gave it a seven. No, like, I mean I think it's probably it's aspects. probably catching it's probably catching a couple things. Uh, it's it, it's definitely getting like that weird. It's way better than I expected it to be. Bounce because I thought it was going to be Army of the Dead and it wasn't. Um, I liked all the 40k stuff. I know it just I mean that's just it, fun, but I like it. It's all over the top as fuck. So um. And like, like I said earlier, as far as a Zack Snyder movie goes, it's about as A to B. Like, it's like, it had a plot I could follow and figure out. And I was like, all right. And I was like, I don't know. I'm kind of want to know what happened to the, the princess. And yeah. we'll see it, it kind of makes in. me just want him to just straight up make a 40K movie. It kind of made, yeah, I would just oh, make a 40K uh, film. Well, he's not making it, but that is in production that Amazon, they're making uh, Henry Cavill is producing it. That makes no. sense. He's a big old 40k dork. Um, they're gonna have to spend. In, so. They're gonna have to spend a billion dollars on so that much money. Movie. Um, also, yeah. there's no way Henry Cavill's an in, incel. In that guy definitely gets. He's not, that guy I know, but he's got like serious incel tendencies. Like, if oh, you he's, read he's, it he's a misogynist. Yeah. I, I yeah. agree with that. Yeah, yeah. He's played. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's got, he's out there pounding he's it, but he hates them. Killed. Yeah. Uh, so, oh, anywho, stop, stop, <laughs> what? <laughs> Well, yeah, no, it's better. It's, it's better than I thought. It's dumb, but it's not as terrible. It's really just catching a bounce for not being as terrible as I expected. Yeah, I, I mean, really it's, regretting it's, this. It is watchable. Like that is and the highest compliment I I'm can give. I'm gonna say it. this about this: the trailer for this this movie does it no favor. Oh, the, the trailer, trailer dick. makes it seem like an incomprehensible mess, where this is a very <laughs> comprehensible mess. <laughs> um. So with that, uh, Alec, dying. Here we go. Um, I'm gonna give it a oh, probably also a seven. Shock. Um, shocking, shocking is always the wild card. Plays the wild card. Yeah, I didn't mind this movie at all. I'm excited to see the next one. Um, if anything, like, and obviously, I can't put Zack Snyder on the same level as like a James Gunn. But my biggest complaint was the same thing that there's no, not enough, like, team building between yeah. the people. Whereas in, like, Guardians of the Galaxy, which is a shorter movie, you build that team in, like, a half an hour. And you yeah. understand everything, and everybody knows each other's motivations. And you remember um, all of those characters. Well, that's also you, another movie that they didn't realize was going to get a sequel. Also true. That's true. Um but I really didn't mind this movie at all. Surprising, even myself. When I first started watching after work, I was like, ugh. But I just kept waiting to, waiting and waiting and waiting to get to the point where uh, I didn't like it. And then I was like, oh, I guess that's not coming. And it didn't. I love Sophia Batella. Like, I'm glad she's uh, getting more work. Um, the last thing I remember her being in was uh, Star Trek Beyond. Which was like probably oh, yeah. five years ago now, six years ago now. Yeah. Jayla. I always forget she's the alien in that. Um, she's a great actress, and she's really good at all the action stuff. Like it's, she's I guess. So what, I guess. I guess what she's, holds her back here in America is the accent that she's yeah. not like a huge. Not that there's a ton of female action stars because that's what Hollywood doesn't think people want. Yeah. Even though every time they make one, they do huge bank. I was blown but, away that that lady's 42 years old. I thought she was, like, in her fucking, like, late 20s. I had 40, no idea. Oh, she wow. Was in, um, she was in that movie I tried to watch, and I couldn't make it past the first half hour. That uh, Hellraiser Debtor? Oh. No, Prisoners of the Ghost Land? Oh, the Nick Cage, yeah, the, 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 the uh, Satoshi, what's that guy's name? Uh, Scion. Uh, I forget his fucking name. Scion. I can't remember. <laughs> Do you think he did? Do you think, you think you can bench a Scion TC? This is Friday. You come back and lift a Scion TC. Guys, <laughs> you, your homework this week. You should have to. You should watch Climax. She's in that. I'd love to know what you. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. You know, if he's having anxiety issues right yeah, now, maybe that's, that's not. Hard, yeah, yeah. Maybe I'm not. better now. No, I feel. I feel good now. I'm on. Yeah, I'm on give, give it a few. Okay. <laughs> Fair. So a three v one. Yeah, this is a very odd split. This is the Book of Eli split. I stand by it. I'm sorry. I I hated this fucking... I'm shocked that 
the pass that this movie is getting because I just was not like I said it was just not fun for me. But uh, whatever. I mean, you know, even even Josh Trank made a good movie. Like I I liked uh, I liked that movie. Uh, yeah, yeah. Didn't he make? No, he didn't make any Chronicle. Movie. Chronicle. He made he now see he. I'm made, talking about the Capone movie. Like, he made a movie that is hilariously <laughs> bad in this Capone movie, which eventually we have to review on the show because it is it is now that movie is funny as hell. Like that is a a Tim Stamball banger right there because that movie is, <laughs> it is funny as hell. It's not supposed to be funny, but it is very funny. I, that I, movie is responsible for me losing my fortune, so I will never watch it. Oh yes, no, that yeah. was Gotti. Oh yeah, Gotti. Gotti. That was Gotti. Yeah. The, 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 who's that? Uh, John Travolta. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah right. It looks like. Hey, <laughs> we're a movie ticket company. Let's go produce let's, movies. Let's finance a movie. That'll work. A movie ticket company that is losing money. Hand over fist. <laughs> let's go make a movie. Yeah. And we'll do the one thing where we cannot recoup based yeah. on our business model. What's their end game there? We're going to make the movie that people can come see for free because of our service. Like, wait a minute. <laughs> it's like it's like the Paddy's Bucks in the fucking Holy <laughs> Sunny thing. I don't know how the American economy works. We just, that's, it just keeps, you got to feed it back into the economy. All right. Uh, what's, what, what month are we? What, what's what's January? What is, Alec, what is January's theme? The Will Smith movie, just the pursuit of crappiness. Yeah. There it is. Ooh. Uh, does anybody um, have a pick? Is it just it's it's just Will Smith films, films right? I, mean, I guess oh, it's like, like crappy movies too. Oh, I thought it's it was just Will Smith because I my other pick was going to be uh, Gemini Man. It's like oh, that's got to happen at man. some point. Ooh, that's a good pick. I, I like King Richard. Oh, the tennis. Do, do we really want to watch the tennis dad biopic? No, okay. I don't. Um, I, I'm, I, I'll 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 uh, pick Gemini Man if if no one has any c- objections to that. Are you gonna pick it right now? Oh, that's fine. And what are we doing? Yeah. What are we doing? The moly? February. Yeah, wow. let's do them in February because I think I I still like the Iron Claw. That's the only one left on my list that I would like to still see. I've got to watch like fifty movies before February. <laughs> so, well, January might just end up being a waste then because we're watching a movie next week. What's today? Today's the eighth, so that'll be the fifteenth. The uh, the week after next is our four hundred birthday. Oh my baby. god! Oh no! Your is your birthday? Your birthday in February? January. Yeah, I can't remember. February. Should we make the Moly's the four hundredth episode? So Ooh. the twenty the twenty second will be our four hundredth episode. So we could be, that's technically almost, that's the. the do you want to do, so for this going to be 400 Moleys, do you want to do the categories, but we'll do it for the entire run of the show? God. Oh my I God. don't know, like, we can really go back that far. Like, it would be tough just to go through, like, the list of shit, you know? We have that list that's posted on God's Wall. Yeah. And then mm-hmm. we'd have to go back and look through, like, the episodes posted, but there's still, there's I a, believe, like, a whole year's worth of episodes that are gone. Just lying. I have. Yeah. I have I have a list of everything that like since the pandemic or I think uh I have 2021, 2022, 2023. I have all of our all the movies we watched in a word file here. I like I like the idea of I don't like the, the research that it's going to take to actually go back through the entire catalog of the show. <laughs> what were you saying? Al? Well, you also have the list on your wall from episode Oh yeah, no, it's right here. Until Whatever, so you might have everything. Yeah, actually, this has my actually I'll, pinned on the back of this is my 2020 Moly's, uh like all, all my pits. So, um, oof, what was that good? Was this a good year? No, 21. Was... All right, this is this is not interesting. Okay, anywho, so are we gonna do the 400 400th episode Moly's then? In two yeah, weeks, and next week, next week we're watching. Do we want to do Gemini Man or just do another like random movie? Something like grab bag. Yeah, we do grab bag. We grab. Or we could do. Or we could do like WWE. We could make it like WrestleMania and make the Moleys a two parter. No, no, no. Uh. Nobody wants that. <laughs> uh, as long as we don't do that thing where we watch a movie and do the show. The said that no, was a fucking. That. <laughs> God, we were there. And that was out of pocket. Four hours recording. Yeah. and the movie. Um, was, uh, the movie was the Star Wars movie. Uh, yeah. 
the last two, whatever the middle one was. Yeah, yeah, the the one that, that broke all our hearts. What the fuck oh, is it called? The Last Jedi. The, the last, yeah, Jedi last Jedi. Yeah. Rise of the Last Jedi. All right, so what kind of grab bag pick do you all want? Let's just – somebody pick something. I don't care what it is. Um, try to think Ken of Ultraman. Word. Ken Ultraman? I, I wasn't expecting that. That's a weird pick, but I'm for it. It's already on the Plex. Is there that. is there any like big fucking franchise movies we haven't seen that came out recently? I don't think so. Not uh, we could do the the last Transformers movie that oh, no, Beast I'm Wars good. movie. I uh, I don't want to watch a Beast Wars movie. I heard it wasn't bad. Alex saw it. Uh, yeah, I heard it wasn't bad. Yeah, uh, I, I don't know. Take that with a grain of salt. Maybe. I don't know. Let's. We can always figure this out off the air. Yeah, here. next know. week's show, TBD. Yeah, we'll figure it out. You'll you'll tune by in. By the time next... we go to bed, by the time we go to bed tonight, everybody submit a and we'll figure it out from there. I mean, I could X two X Men United. Hell yeah, we'll figure it. Have we have we done any of the like later X Men? Did we ever do like Dark Phoenix or any of that bullshit? Wait, it, I, no, no, I think we're doing. Awesome. I thought we did Dark Phoenix. Days didn't we? Future past the road cut. Yeah. Did it, I think the only X Men movie we've done is, or we've done, we did X three, we did um, X three, and did we do Wolverine the first one, Origins? I, I think, think we did do Origins. Did I think we did. I feel like we did. Yeah. They, has anyone watched uh, 2023's Adam Driver Vehicle sixty five? I heard it was hor- horrendous. I don't even know what it is. That's that one where he it's Turok the Dinosaur Hunter the movie. I so that I take uh, it back. That's my pick. Sixty five. Do what you will with it. Because okay, well, it, I'll, like I'll talk to you guys not a sexy later. Pick. After I, All right. Well, that'll be a, your I pick. Some shit. I'm picking right. Miss Four. Mine's Miss Forty Five. Throw that in the bag. Interesting. All right. Um, pick, a num- pick a number movie, Alec. All right. Two. Anyway, we'll, we'll figure it out. Um, the movie. We'll, All right. we'll figure it out next week. Grab bag. You guys will. Or no, no, no. I'm, I'm switching mine to David Lynch's dude. Oh my god! Really? Yeah. <laughs> We're not picking that. <laughs> <laughs> That's not getting picked. Uh, I don't know. Who knows? You, it goes know. in the bag. That's how we watched *Lay Samurai*, and everybody loved that. If I recall. <laughs> oh yeah. It was my of... favorite. French detective movie that year. <laughs> it blows my mind how many people love that movie. I'm always like, that <laughs> oh, that, everybody loves that poster. The poster's great. Yeah. All right, everybody. That's the show. Right. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Zach Snyder. Keep dreaming those dreams, buddy.